Everybody is an idiot about math, and that's good because it'll make you money. This episode of Scam School brought to you by TuneUp. Your music collection is a mess. TuneUp fixes it automatically. And Netflix. Welcome to your get out of bar tab free card. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and unless you are a mathematician or a casino owner, everyone else on planet Earth has a really bad understanding of probability, which is something that con men take advantage of. So I give to you not one, but two ways to take advantage and make money on people's lousy understanding of probability. What's going on, gentlemen? It's good hey to see there. you again. Matt, Drew, all right, we're gonna play a game. I want to know what you think is a good or a bad deal here. How All many, right. and I'm going to ask you first, Matt, how many face cards are there in a deck of cards? Nine. So 16. Wait, jacks. I'll give you a hint. This is not the scam. This is the introduction. What is it? There's four times four right there. So what is that? That's. Yeah, there's jacks, queens, kings, oh, and there's oh, four. That's 12. Sorry. 12, yes. 12. So, yeah, 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah so 12, just like you said. There's 52 cards in the deck, so that means there's 12 face cards, and how many not face cards? Oh, uh, 40. 40, right. So, what would you say the odds are if you were to take a deck, shuffle it up by your own hand, and then separate it into three piles? What are the odds that one of these would have a face card on the top? Not that good. <laughs> <laughs> you say about one in four, what do you say? One and three, okay, but both of you guys agree it's more likely to not have a face card than to have one, right? There's no way there's a face card. All right, dude, well, here's what I want you to do. I shuffled them up, you can shuffle them up yourself. Mix right. them up, mix them up, and then you can give it a few cuts, whatever you want to do. No, we're gonna do a Vegas style right here, because I know you're shady. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That just happened. What's funny, it's like, there's two people that shuffle this way, Vegas and toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's no face card, I buy you guys drinks. If there is a face card, you buy me drinks. One, two, three piles, let's see it. Oh, wow. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. All right, no face card. No face card. No, no face, face card. card. Oh, we got the nines going. Ah, oh, nine. nine. There it is. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> oh, ace doesn't count. Come on, dude. Come on. Oh, oh, oh I got two of them. <laughs> Booyah Kasha, thank you very much. Most people, given this problem, say that there's 12 face cards and 40 non-face cards, so they put the odds at 12 to 40. They say that most likely there's not a face card in there. But the true odds are roughly, the way I heard it was that it's six to five in favor of there actually being a face card. Now the great thing about Scam School is we got genius mathematicians who will instantly give us the exact true answer on the forums. But I do know for a fact that more often than not, there will be at least one face card on those three. But you guys did a great job. Thank you so awesome. much, man. We owe you a beer. All right, guys. Last time TuneUp Media sponsored Scam School, I was overwhelmed by the number of people who sent me emails and tweets telling me how great the service was. It is an amazing plugin for iTunes and Windows Media Player that fixes all your mislabeled songs. No more track o ones, unknown artists, no Led Zeppelin spelled 25 different ways. It even provides missing album art. TuneUp also offers must have music discovery features for any music fan. Upcoming concert alerts based on the artists in your collection, music videos videos, artist bios, and more, all contextualized around what you're listening to. So head on over to TuneUpMedia.com and try it for free. You get a hundred song cleanups, but once you see how easy it is to do and how foolproof the system is, you know you're going to want to sign up. And when you do, you can get 20% off and support Scam School by using promo code SCAMSCHOOL2010 at checkout. That's SCAMSCHOOL2010. Not only will you be getting 20% off, but you'll be keeping Scam School in business. You guys know Three Card Monty, right? It's also called Follow the Lady, where you're supposed to find the queen. What are the odds that out of three cards, you'll pull out the queen? One out of three. That's right. What are the odds that you won't find the queen? Two and three. Two and three, right? And so now we're going to up it. We got two queens and four non-queens. We got two jacks, two queens, and two kings. I'm going to scoop them together, shuffle them up. You're going to pull out two cards. Okay. What are the odds that you're going to get a queen? One third. One third, yeah. It would be one third again. Uh, one, eight. one out of two? One out of six. You say one out of six are the odds that you get a queen? Yeah. Something out of 36. Something out of 36. Fair enough. 
because you got two queens. Right. There's two out of six cards. You have 33% chance of getting a queen. Exactly. <laughs> Here's what we want to know. More likely that you will get a queen or that you won't get a queen. There are four non-queens, two queens. Won't. You say won't. What do you say? Will. Just because he said won't. <laughs> so we all agree that it would be more likely that you will not get a queen than get a queen, right? Yeah. If you don't have a queen, I'll buy you a beer. All but right. if you do get a queen, I buy you a beer. You gotta buy one for me. Right. All you have to do to win is pull out two cards, pick out any two. Alright? That's one. That's two. Pick two cards. This one? Yep, yep, yep. And this one. Alright, let's see. Oh! A beer for Brian! <laughs> do you win a drink or do you owe me one? Yeah! If there's no queen, I'll buy you both drinks. But there is a queen, so you gotta buy me drinks. You got the queen. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Very good, well done. Look at that, I can't believe you got a winner. Wow. The way people perceive this one is because there's two queens, which would be a loss, and four non-queens, which would be a win, people perceived it as two to four, right? What makes the difference is that you're trying the same trial twice. The true odds, are actually six to four in favor of you getting a queen. 60% of the time, you're gonna win. You're not always gonna win with this one, but 60% of the time, you will get a queen. Do realize that 40% of the time, you are gonna lose, but more often than not, if you do an even money bet, a queen's gonna end up being a winner. Thanks a lot, guys. Awesome job. This week for my Netflix recommendation, I want you to watch a movie that is chock full of scams and cons, but is so not about scams and cons. I want you to rewatch The Big Lebowski. I say rewatch because of course you've seen it before, right? It's one of the few movies that gets better every time you see it, and it's available for instant streaming right now at Netflix. If you don't have Netflix, head on over to www.netflix.com slash scam school and sign up for your free, no risk, two week trial. You can download all you want, watch for free and then cancel your account. Go ahead and scam them, they don't care because they know that once you start using the service, you're gonna fall in love with it. Between the instant streaming and the fact that movies arrive in only one business day, you're gonna dig Netflix and most importantly, you'll be keeping scam school in business. What's going on Mauricio? Going it's good on? to see you again, man. You. I got a quick and easy one for you. Right. You're gonna like this, check this out. Hold on, I gotta Let's do, we'll just draw us a little circle. There we go. Here's the challenge I got for you. Okay. Full glass of beer. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Okay. I'm gonna tip it over straight down, okay. pour the whole thing, and not one drop will land outside of that circle. If one drop spills outside of that circle, I'll buy you a beer. But if I pull it off, come on, man, hook me up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're not even putting up a fight anymore. Yeah, you're like Brushwood. Whatever. You want a beer, I'll get you a beer. <laughs> Let's see it. All right, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Not one drop spill. All right. Now you'll come up with your own presentation for these bits, but remember that in the long term, the statistics are gonna work out in your favor. In the short term, however, you may end up buying a few free drinks for your friends. Don't worry about it. You'll make it back and then some. I wanna hear about your thoughts, your suggestions. Hit us up at the boards at revision3.com slash scam school. And if you wanna suggest your favorite bar scam to appear on this show, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scam school or find out when I happen to be in your hometown doing a public event at twitter.com slash schwood. Next week, we're gonna be documenting my long running campaign to become the presidential nominee as scams are. But until then, I need to get a little more cash so I can get back to the blackjack table. Let me see if I can get the...